Arc version number just jumped to 1.0 and anyone who wants to use Arc can now go to arc.net and get the browser. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. Arc the Mac and iOS browser from the browser company is finally ditching its waitlist. The company has been testing the app for more than two years and has, until now, made every interested user sign up for the waiting list. But now it's launching for real. I have covered Arc in recent months both because it's a good browser and it's a new idea about how you use the internet. The browser company's ultimate plan is to build the operating system for the internet. Arc isn't just a place to see web pages, it has tools for taking notes, making visuals and collaborative easels with others and more. The last month is filled with updates which I am going to inform you about, stay tuned. The biggest of all, Arc is available for all now. No more waitlist for Mac or iOS users, but another good news is that their Windows version is accepting waitlist now. I'm expecting it to be released around October to November. I'm sure there is a huge audience waiting for it, which of course the hardworking team knows and they have already tested the final draft for the Windows version. It looks good to me. Moving to the very next and probably an amazing update is Boost. Many of you might be knowing already by now, but for those who don't know, Boost is the feature that totally changes the game. Now you can change your website's look and feel based on how you want it for yourself. More than this, apparently all of it is without code, so you don't need to know anything about coding. Just click, hit a key and done. That's I guess is revolutionary in personalization game. And by look and feel, I just don't mean color scheme or simple something, but you can change the font type, delete any section which feels useless, and with bits of here and there, the whole website can look just something else. When you have done so much by keep it to yourself, you can actually share the made up package of that website to your friends who use Arc. Similarly, you can definitely find a lot of skins like these over their website for like a cute Gmail, mini Google Calendar, mini Instagram, cleaner Twitter, Wikipedia, etc. You can see the level of scale here. The biggest time saver for me personally is like no YouTube Shorts skin. Don't you feel everyone needs it? Next we have the air traffic control. An absurd sounding feature, let me explain and you will love it. What's air traffic control? ATZ helps you route links to the right place when they are open outside Arc. For example, you can choose that all Google Sheet links open from desktop apps like Slack or Outlook or even Notes etc. route directly to your office workspace. Default space can be set for any website and any kind of link. Isn't that too much to have? Okay, moving to some other updates which might be relevant for you. Next in the list we have PIP mode for Google Meet available in this browser. Yes, Meet doesn't have it default so Arc made it for you. Now the PIP mode has even more video control to it which makes it more productive to use. Fastening the pace for further updates. Next we have the space creation feature update. Earlier while creating spaces it just opened a space without any naming options etc. Now it's solved. You can give your space a name, choose the profile type and the theme. All set, your new space is created fine and sorted. With this, switching spaces will now switch your active tab to the last tab used in that space. The command bar also gets a visual refresh, making you feel just a bit more speedy as you navigate. They basically just trick you into this as it was all a transition. With this, we come to part ways. And before that, let me tell you, the team is not stopping at it. They are getting AI into the browser, but not like a usual chat AI, but something which is mind blowing. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel. And if you want to look at the browser, you can do so from the description below. That's it for today. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, if you are looking for an awesome PDF app, then I recommend you watch this video right here. And you can watch my recent video from here. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.